Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how you can add a managed element to your Secure Access Link Gateway. Let's cover a few key points before we begin. Prior to beginning this process, you'll need to satisfy the following. Submit the Cell Universal Install form to obtain a unique solution element identifier and product ID for your Avaya devices. Also, this procedure applies to both the standalone cell gateway and system platform cell gateway. We'll begin by logging into the cell gateway with the root level account or with a user that has security administrator level permissions. I'll go ahead and provide my credentials. I'll then press log on to authenticate. Next, we're going to want to go to Managed Elements. Now, as you can see here, that is in fact the landing page for the cell gateway. But in case you're not there, you can click on Managed Elements on the left under Secure Access Link Gateway. We then want to click on Add New near the bottom here. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and provide all of the details for our device that we'll be adding. Now, in this example, I'll be adding a System Manager. We'll begin with providing a host name. We'll then want to provide the IP address of the device. Now the field below that, labeled NIU port, that's only required for legacy devices. Next, we're going to select the model. The model describes the various characteristics of your product, such as remote access protocols and alarming methods that it supports. Typically, the model name will closely resemble that of your product. I'll go ahead and drop down on the list here. And as you can see, there's one labeled System Manager underscore 2.0.0.4. I'll go ahead and select that. The field below for product, go ahead and leave that at the default that it selects for you. We'll next need to enter the solution element ID that we obtained from Avaya. I'll go ahead and provide that. We'll then need to provide the product ID of our device. Again, this value would have been provided to you by Avaya. Below that, we have a couple of checkboxes. You can see we need to decide whether or not we'd like to provide remote access to this device and transport alarms. I'll go ahead and make sure both are selected since I will be using both. Now the ones that are grayed out do not apply so we can go ahead and skip those. Once all these details have been provided the final step is to go ahead and click the add button below. I'll go ahead and do that now. You can see here it's now going to ask me to restart the gateway services with the link above. I'll go ahead and click on that link. I'll press apply to confirm the changes. You'll be asked to acknowledge the restarting of the services. Now this process can take up to a minute, so you want to be patient. Once the changes have been applied, you will see this message. There are no configuration changes to be applied. And that's all that's required to add a managed device to your cell gateway. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.